Have you ever seen someone in your lobby drop 20 kills, even 30 kills, and thought to yourself, how is that guy so good? How can I become more like that guy? Well, what do you think the difference between you and him is? Game sense? Map knowledge? I'll tell you what it is, it's mechanics. And in this guide, I'll teach you how to become that guy. This video will be split into two parts, movement and aim. Starting off with movement, we need to talk about angle advantage. Angle advantage is when you are further away from a corner than your opponent, you'll be able to see them first. That's why, whenever you hold or pick a corner, you want to back up as far away as you can from it to maximize angle advantage. And while on the topic of picks, whenever you pick a corner, you want to always be moving left and right and never forwards or backwards. This is done to maximize your speed in your opponent's size, example on screen. Also, when you fight an opponent, try to strafe left and right a lot and change your direction to throw off the aim. This is crucial if you want to get multi kills. Next up, slicing the pie. Slicing the pie is when you pick and pre-aim each spot an enemy can be in while not exposed to any other spots. You can easily practice this in a private match or in between rounds. Now, holding. Try to always hold an angle you can crouch into cover from. And to always get Pierce's advantage, you can uncrouch every so often and pick it. If you don't know what Pierce's advantage is, google it, it's crucial. Even more so in this game since we don't have trading. Make sure that when you uncrouch, also straight to make yourself a harder target to hit, but try not to make noise. Moving on to aiming, let's start with the number one most important thing you need to learn, and that is crosser placement. In beaters, you want to aim for around the top third of a player's head and hold your crosser there at all times. This is for two reasons. The first one is that heads in this game are huge, more than people realize. Even at longer ranges, the head stays big target that you can always hit. This removes the need to aim for someone's neck or upper chest like you may do in other games. The second reason is scope misalignment. Your bullet doesn't actually go where your scope is, but slightly below it. This is clear with a laser. This means that by aiming at the top third of someone's head, you're actually aiming at the middle of it. And if you aim at the middle of someone's head, you might hit the neck and miss a kill. If you're ever not sure where head level is, you can use your teammates to help you realign yourself. This concept goes hand in hand with slicing the pie, as you want to be able to aim at head level while isolating angles. You can still do well aiming lower, and if you find that works better for you, then do it, but this is what I found to work best. This is all probably very confusing, so let's sort it out. Let's start by working on your crosser placement. Go into any bomb defusal server and start recording your gameplay. Focus on always aiming at the top third of the head for however many rounds you want, and after you're done, stop the recording and start looking for it. Every kill you get, ask yourself, was this kill a headshot? Or more specifically, was my first bullet a headshot? If it was, then congratulate yourself and continue watching the recording. If you died, ask yourself, was I aiming high enough? Was I even aiming at head level at all? And go through the entire recording. After you're done, go into another lobby, start recording and repeat the process. Also keep in mind that this gets a lot harder when you introduce verticality, stairs, boxes or anything in between. This can take multiple days, so don't stress yourself if you can't get it right away. After you're confident that you can always aim at head level, let's get our strafing right. You can go into either kill house or bomb defuser for this, and start recording your gameplay. When you're in game, you want to only focus on moving left and right when you fight someone, and never forwards or backwards. When you're done, stop the recording and look through it. This time, you want to look through every fight and ask yourself, was I only moving left and right? Was I moving forwards or backwards at all? Then, after you're done looking through it, go into another match and repeat the process. Again, this can take multiple days to get right, so don't sweat it. After you get your crosser placement and picking right, let's learn how to slice the pie. Choose a map you want to practice, go into offline training and start the game. Now, go into the building and try to clear every angle as tightly as possible without being exposed to any other angle. Do this in multiple areas and floors. And after you're done, go into a bomb defusal match of the map you just practiced, start recording your gameplay, and focus on not being exposed to more than one angle at a time. Now that you have the fundamentals down, you can practice your raw aim in the gun range or team deathmatch. Which is where I'd recommend you'll spend a good chunk of your time if you're not confident with your aim. Moving on to advanced tips, I'd only recommend you learn these after you have mastered the fundamentals and are confident in your skills. First, let's talk about drop shotting. By crouching when you peek, you can displace your head below someone's sight and make them miss a shot. I'd recommend practicing this in either the gun range, online, or in between rounds to learn how to readjust your aim when crouching. It's very important that when you crouch peek, you know you'll only be fighting one person, since crouching removes any means of escape. And try to uncrouch as soon as the cooldown for it wears off, so that possible prolonged fights, or if someone peeks into you after you've already crouched, you have a chance of dodging their shot or moving out of the way. If you aim with your right eye, try to always peek while moving right, and left if you're left eye dominant. This way, you'll have the least possible amount of your body exposed. If you're willing to learn how to aim with your left eye, you can do this both ways. IRL peeking, or fast peeking. 
To do this, you need to move your joystick either left or right all the way, then simultaneously take a step left or right depending on the side you want to be. It takes a bit of getting used to, and you shouldn't do this when picking into more than one person, or if you don't know where the enemy is, but if you know you'll only be picking into one enemy whose location is known, then this can be very effective. Also, the closer you are to a corner, the more effective it is, and the farther away, the less effective. This is why you should only really do this at close to medium range, and never at long range. Okay, that's it, subscribe, bye!